pretty quick. The lighting's really good. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, everybody. It is Friday. I'm a chicken. Buck, 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 squawk. Squawk? Squawk, squawk. I don't think chickens say squawk. I think the last time I was here was right around Raw Nationals. The weather has been awful ever since. Uh, it is Friday, May the 20th. Friday, May the 20th. May 20th. Is that you keeping me on track? Yes, Kaylee. Got what? You got it all wrapped up? Yeah. Thank you. Some of you might be wondering why I'm not uh, lifting this year at Men's Nationals in Denver, which is actually Sunday. Uh, it started today. Um, <laughs> a lot's been going on on the home front here, along with my normal craziness. Um, I've been on the road for work about 50% of the time, and not just day trips to New York. Uh, I've been uh, actually going outside the country. Uh, I had a four-week span there, five-week span where I went to Mexico twice for work. Went to Houston, Texas, went to Raleigh, North Carolina, mm -hmm. and went to New York. And that's been kind of the way it's been going since the fall of last year. It's been making uh, training a little more difficult to get to. I did finally get a gym or a few gyms in Mexico to train at when I'm there, but it's usually very late after doing about a 10 or 11 hour day. So I was not going to be ready for men's nationals. Um, and uh, so I did the Arnold in, in the, at the Arnold bench press, did pretty well, placed second behind Blaine Sumner, uh, doing a pretty good bench at 678. Uh, my best by 20 some pounds, which is pretty awesome. But since then, uh, training's been hit and miss. Um, I am just, I've recorded a bunch of stuff and I've not had time to edit, so I don't even know if this is going to go online either. But I figure I'm going to use this lighting, great lighting here, in, here at the park. This is usually where the football field is being played, and then we have the soccer fields in front of me here uh, here in Clark Summit but uh, it's the off season for everything and we're just enjoying the playground so this is a one taker uh, but I figured I'd put together a video explaining why I'm not at men's nationals and what my next plans are um, uh, good luck to everyone this weekend uh, I know it's going to be a very competitive uh, it's a great thing about not going this year <laughs> well the great thing I shouldn't say great thing the good thing going in knowing that the 120 kilogram class is very well represented with Preston Turner, Scott Dobbins, and a bunch of other future future studs. So I know whatever whoever we bring to Open Worlds will represent the U.S. quite well in Orlando. Um, my plans um, right now have committed to go to the North American Championships in St. Croix, which is August the 19th I lift. Um, during the summertime, most of you, well, if you've followed my videos in the past, you saw that I train at excessively crazy uh, time of day. Uh, so when I do heavy squats with equipment, I actually get up about 4 a.m. and my training finishes about 7. Um, when the kids are out of school, which is effective like June, when's your last day of school? June twelfth or something, um, maybe. somewhere around there. June twelfth. Uh, at that point in time, I do not have to be home by seven because the kids don't have to catch the bus. So I could actually keep my training time consistently starting at five, and I could get the training time I want and not have to get up at four o'clock in the morning. Getting an extra hour of sleep every every squat workout, every bench workout, every deadlift workout. Uh, for the last eight weeks of training leading up to the North Americans is going to, I believe, result in a pretty good day, hopefully. Uh, along with that, I've got the, you know, condition again. If you've watched my videos in the past, I've got some hip issues that are 
know, basically the doctors a few years ago said I'm going to need a hip replacement, but I was too young. So lots of issues that are bone issues and labrum micro tears and all sorts of fun stuff along with arthritis. So training in February, March at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. is pretty difficult as well. And then combine that with being in foreign countries along with four kids and everything there. So uh, that's the quick explanation, long, long story long of why I'm not in Denver this weekend uh, to, to contend my title. I've won uh, three of the last four USA Powerlifting Men's Open titles. Uh, and obviously I won't be winning this year because I won't be there. Uh, but again, some great competitors in the 120. So good luck to everybody. And uh, we'll see if I actually post this video. I uh, hope everyone has a great weekend. And, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll talk to you again soon. Want to say bye, Caitlin? Let's see. Bye bye. Bye bye. Once upon a Tuesday. Bye. Once upon a Friday. It is Friday. It is Friday. Everybody take hey, care. Hey, bye -bye. hey. Once upon a Friday, are you going to.